Peace everybody back with another video. This is Melania Trump unveils renovated White House Rose Garden and as you can see here in the picture is the beautiful Rose Garden that um that was the original way back hundreds of years ago and so she put it she restored the Rose Garden back to its original um settings to when it would have started a long time ago with um, Theodore Roosevelt. So this is what she has done. And a lot of people are hating her for it because she decided to um, put the garden back to its original setting. First Lady Melania Trump unveiled the re renovated White House Rose Garden today. Official White House photo by Andrea Hanks. Yeah, you know, so the so Melania uh -huh. Trump has unveiled the renovated White House Rose Garden today. So and it is beautiful. I love how she did it. Um, she knows just what she needed to have the Rose Garden today. And of course, the official White House photo by Andrea Hanks. It's all coming up roses Saturday at the White House. So yeah, it's all coming up roses. First Lady Melania Trump gave the nation its first peek at the freshly renovated White House Rose Garden. Just in time to use it as a backdrop for her Tuesday speech to the Republican National Convention. Yeah, so First Lady Melania Trump, she gave the nation its first peek of the beautiful Rose Garden. Um, just in time to use it as a backdrop for her Tuesday speech to the Republican National Convention. So this is why she had to get it done before Tuesday and so she could do her speech and she wants to use it as a backdrop for her speech. The Garden, located just outside the Oval Office, dates back to 1913 and was redesigned in the early 1960s under the direction of the First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. Yeah, so the garden has has a lot of history. Um, of course, it is located outside the Oval Office, and it dates back to 1913. So it is. Um, so it is. Um, a long time that she has for the rose garden to come up come to be renovated finally trump's changes include the restoration of the original diamond shaped boxwood hedges and the installation mm -hmm. of new rose bushes to honor the space's history the floral display included cream colored jfk roses light yellow piece roses and the stark white Pope John Paul II rose to commemorate the pontiff's visit to the White House in 1979. Yeah, so Trump's changes includes the restoration of the original diamond-shaped boxwood hedges. So that's what she had done. She reshaped that one um, and the installation mm -hmm. of new rose bushes to honor the space's history. The floral display includes cream colored JFK roses, um, light yellow peace roses, mm -hmm. and the stark white Pope John Paul II rose to commemorate the pontiff's visit to the White House in 1979. So she has done, uh, she's had a lot done to the rose garden. Now people are angry with her because they're commenting on her post on Twitter. Oh, you took the, you should be ashamed of yourself. You took down the trees, let it out. Uh, so, and Melania and Trump wanted the Rose Garden back to the way it was a long time ago. And that's how it was, because the original design was it, the way it is back then with the Kennedys and all that. But as the years went by, as a, the former presidents, they wanted um, trees and everything else. And, you know, it, it's just 
not that because that was not the original design to have trees and everything else the grassy era where President Barack Obama held his 2009 beer summit has been replaced with limestone pavers that will soon include an art installation the White House said yes yeah, so the grassy era where Obama held his 2009 beer summit oh we well we know what he's been doing um but yeah so she replaced that and it will soon include an art installation the white house even said the project founded by private donation is meant to be an act of expressing hope and optimism for the future the first lady said last month yes yeah, so the project funded by private donations that means she didn't have to go out and ask people for money or anything like that it's meant to be an act of expressing hope and optimism for the future and this is what the first lady said last month so with the rose garden being beautiful back to its original scene the way it was from back in the day that's how it's going to stay now unless something else comes up or whatever but the rose garden that she has now it is beautiful and i loved how the original setting is it is a beautiful rose garden leave your comments below i am out